Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to give you a snapshot of the uh, where we're at with the spreadsheet creation and appearance trading. Uh, somewhat simple end of day strategy, uh, as I said, for appearance trading. So, I put up a video on how to uh, work with uh, a MATLAB uh, M script that I've written, uh, showing you how to uh, find pairs. Uh, I'm also in this video uh, going to show you some file manipulation and uh, my thoughts on this Excel um, building process, this uh, library from Microsoft or for .NET. So um, basically what I have here, these are the source files and uh, this is created by a third party uh, piece of software I use, uh, it generates daily um, data for this particular one. So let me just pull up a, um, an example of this. Uh, let me just hope that this pulls up. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. But uh, this is a typical end of day um, strategy here. Open, high, low, close with a volume at the end. Um, so it's pretty simple stuff. So I have a total of uh, what eight files here. So what I do is with that MATLAB pairs trading finder, I'll, I'll go through these combinations of these end of day uh, CSV files or comma separated value uh, files and what it will do is it will um, it will basically generate a pairs uh, text file or I call it pairs so essentially um, what it does here it once it sees some potential uh, combinations that are actual uh, that co-integrate and that show that there are um, pairs that uh, show potential that can be used for pairs trading um, it's going to generate these uh, combinations of the set so from there I have a, a C-sharp program that I wrote uh, it didn't take me very long actually to go through uh, that file I just showed you and then open up the, uh, the, the CSV file and then populate a spreadsheet with the uh, latest set of uh, data. Now, just so people know, um, this script or this C-sharp program, I'm not going to go through the code at all. I'm going to go do a detailed code walkthrough for my membership. But here I just wanted to um, let uh, people know is I set these uh, parameters here. Um, you could easily put these into a file if you want in C-sharp. Just uh, doing it the quick and dirty way. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it wasn't, in terms of this program, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, show you what it generates and uh, uh, what, uh, uh, how it works. So, basically, let's say uh, that combo of Coke and Pepsi, like this guy, um, and it's, it's, this is generated by that c -sharp program I just showed you. So, if I uh, open it up in Excel... Um, now you'll you'll notice I'm using Office uh, 2007, a very old version. It works for me, um, but I'll get into that in a minute. But that's the current version I'm I'm working with. But honestly, I should be uh, upgrading to uh, 2013 version of Office. So what it's going to do this program? It's going to generate the first 14 uh, rows, okay, up to here. Um, the reason is it's just going to populate the two pairs and, and grab the 14 days of the latest uh, info here. Uh, it's just going to populate this worksheet with high, low, close, high, low, close of Hewlett or whatever the pairs are. It's going to update this this spreadsheet. This thing's still a, a like an evolutionary thing. So that's what uh, gets pre-populated with, and then on the 15th column, then I start to. Uh, calculate all these uh, other parameters here I showed yesterday in this video. As you can see, there's a chart in here as well. Um, and uh, it just calculates things like stochastic, true range, average true range, trading signals, and the position, and entry, and all that. And it gives you also a running PLL, PNL as well um, for daily profit loss. All right, so that's up to number 14. Now, after that, what we do is we need to start calculating the stress. Also, we start calculating these other uh, ratios. Uh, as you can see, they have their own uh, calculations in each uh, cell. 
So um, I'll be verifying that these are actual correct. I, I would assume they are. This spreadsheet is from a book called uh, Trading System and Methods. So it's, a it's from a published book. Now, the other thing is when you get up to this line here, it starts to calculate the stress. Now, at that point, that's when it's gonna start generating signals, uh, buy, sell, and exit right here, as you can see. Um, and then it starts calculating the profit and loss running total. So this is all needing to be uh, fixed on the back end. Uh, I'm just I'm just putting together a very primitive. Uh, all I really care about is this piece right here, the trading signal. This right here is just a nice to have um, because here um, in the next day or so I'm going to be putting in the actual orders into interactive brokers. And again, remember it's simulated as well as um, these signals and when it's opening up the position I'll be tracking that through a database now that's important because this is an end-of-day strategy this is not a high-speed uh, uh, like uh, a very low frequency um, type of strategy so speed is not really critical at this point so I can do that I worry about um, opening up positions with the um, higher speed uh, strategies and algorithms in the future. But for now, um, that's how it works. Uh, also, um, that's the basic spreadsheet, okay? So this is one of the generated uh, spreadsheets from that c -sharp program. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete all three of these. These are generated again by um, the c -sharp here, uh, this guy that I wrote. Now remember, um, I do give all my membership the, the access to the code. And, um, okay, there's some interesting debugging sessions. I gotta close that. Um, when you're working with Excel, uh, you will occasionally run into problems where the system uh, may conflict with any open uh, Excel sessions. So before you run this, you need to make sure that you have nothing open with Excel. And I just checked the task manager and it seemed to be okay. So I should be able to run this no problem. Uh, so as you can see here, you just saw an Excel pop up. That's Excel working. So it's it's opening the uh, and creating this Excel. Now it's populating the Excel spreadsheet. Moving on to the next file, a KO and Pepsi. Uh, doing the same thing, Excel and creating and populating, and manipulating Excel spreadsheet. So it's, it's generating this uh, spreadsheet here, KO P E P X L S X. And it's doing the same thing with this IBM and HPQ uh, spreadsheet. So I'll, I'll just show you those. Um, looks like it's complete. Um, uh, so here's the new files. Uh, let me just pull one up here. Um, so obviously because I'm, I'm, I'm giving source code, uh, you have full control on how you generate these signals. Um, these somewhat kind of look wonky to me, but I need to verify all this stuff. But you can see once you get it working, um, my intention is is to have this uh, C sharp program running uh, through a scheduler, and maybe at the end of the day, a trading day, I'll wake up, um, and then I'll run all the uh, spreadsheets that show um, pairs that are uh, congruent and that can be traded as a pair. Um, it's going to launch uh, each spreadsheet. Basically, what I'm planning to do is to add a new end of day. Uh, line here in the Excel and then I'll get a new um, trading signal. With that trading signal, once that trading signal comes in, then I'll obviously go into uh, the um, interactive brokers, populate the database, and hopefully, um, you know, that'll be a good trade for the next day. And do that every day. And then maybe have another process to make sure that these, these trading pairs uh, like Coke and Pepsi are still integratable. So I can use the MATLAB uh, script to be able to determine that. Now the other thing is, um, just so people know, with the trading signal and when you do enter in the market, I'll have another bunch of spreadsheets running in the background uh, keeping uh, tabs on risk management on my trading account, also any ratios to make sure uh, things are in balance and check and all that as well as um, being able to determine if I do have open positions, obviously I'll be maintaining a portfolio of some kind. So I'll be having those, another set of spreadsheets to ensure 
um, that whatever I'm uh, trading on is um, something that uh, I can manage from a risk uh, management point of view. So there will be future um, Excel spreadsheets to kind of manage the orders themselves and the sizing of the orders. So it's going to be fully automated, but I'm not there yet. Um, as I said, my high priority for uh, where I'm at right now with this development is to be able to um, basically focus on strategies and algorithms and models that show uh, that can be used just purely for forecasting. Uh, I don't care what it is. I don't care what I'm going to be able to trade. I just want to show the potential of it and then be able to put them all together and do a complete phase of what works and what doesn't work. And I'm going to probably call it like battle of strategies or something stupid like that. But go through a process to shake out what um, strategies don't work at all and what works under what conditions. Um, because this same spreadsheet, um, give you an example here, can easily be used for a U.S. futures market as well. So it's not only useful for uh, equity, but it's also very useful for um, for futures as well. So with the same logic in this in the worksheet I can do the same thing as I said third time now US futures or any futures uh, globally so that's where we're at um, I'll probably put up another video of uh, generating the signal and then both uh, mimicking an order into interactive brokers based on that signal as well as showing you uh, the insertion of that um, order put into the database so that we can uh, archive it and then get back to it later on for some kind of analysis with uh, SQL Server. All right, so hopefully um, this will really uh, open your eyes on the power of Excel um, and just setting up this sort of stuff with uh, R and Python, just a pure pain and not really worth pursuing in terms of uh, um, you know maintainability uh, down the line. But with Excel, everybody knows Excel. It's an easier sell as well, and uh, a lot a lot of people in trading use Excel, obviously for something like this for a pretty looking uh, worksheet, even though you may not understand or may or may not, I don't know. Anyways, that's it, have a good day, and remember, I will be posting videos for uh, my membership, how to generate um, uh, these files, uh, where do they go? Um, yeah, the, the, the end of day files, the CSV files, um, and then walk them through that and most of all source code. I always give out source code. I'm like Santa Claus of source code and give a very detailed walkthrough of this because this again as I've hand coded it, I did not download this and modify it. This was generated uh, by myself in a few hours. Um, oh, also before I forget, let's talk about um, the function of interop. Um, which one is it? this one right here. This interop is, it's okay. I, I wouldn't recommend using it, um, but for version uh, Office 2007, it's fine uh, because I'm doing it in a day. It is somewhat slow, but there's a very powerful feature in it that um, I'm not sure if any of the uh, more updated um, libraries have, is that I can take a range of the cell, and I hinted towards this yesterday, um, I could take this range, let's say, uh, from here all the way out and copy that range and then paste it into the spreadsheet directly in my Excel spreadsheet from C Sharp. That's what I'm doing. It takes a couple of seconds, but it's very powerful. And again, um, I'm not sure if any of the other um, more modern um, software live or uh, Excel libraries do that uh, with .NET, um, but I'll be investigating them once I get um, an updated version of uh, Office 2010-13. As I said, I'm using the old archaic one of uh, 2007. All right, like I said, enough blabbing. Hopefully I'll help you out. And uh, if you're interested, do look at the membership uh, for the other videos and the source files and all that. Talk to you later.